will have the pleasure to discover together two verbs. So it's quite interesting because we've got first the verb savoir and then we've got the verb connaître. And if you want to translate that, I mean, directly in English, well, basically they mean the same thing and it would be translated with to know. Okay, so two verbs for the same meaning. What does it mean? It means that you will have two different uses of these verbs. The first one, savoir, well, the rule is that you will use savoir plus a verb. So after that, if you want to add a verb, then you will have to use savoir. Or then if you want to put, as we say, structure verbal, so it's just somehow like a sentence, okay? So if you want to introduce a sentence after savoir, then uh, after to know, then that's savoir that you will have to use, okay? But connaître, so same meaning, as I said, it's to know, okay? You will use connaître only if you want to put a name or a noun after connaître, okay? So that's the main difference of use between savoir and connaître. Okay, so connaître plus a noun avec un nom and then savoir with a verb or then structure or verbal structure or let's say a sentence if you want. Okay, so first, of course, we should remember how to conjugate savoir at the present form here. Okay, je sais, tu sais, il sait, elle sait. Nous savons, vous savez, ils savent, elles savent. Okay, so if you look carefully here, you write it S-A-I-S, -S. well, the same way here. Here you write it S-A-I-T, okay, but then phonetically these three forms are the same, and it's C'est, okay. Je sais, tu sais, il sait, elle sait. All right, so let's see now the passé composé form. J'ai su, tu as su, il a su, elle a su, nous avons su, vous avez su, ils ont su. Okay, so if you remember, when we introduced this uh, passé composé form, it was in unit 5, if my memory is correct, uh, then you put first, in most of the cases, the verb avoir at the present form, and then you put this participe passé form, and the participe passé form for savoir is su, okay, so it doesn't change. That's the reason why you will put it right here after each form, okay? So, j'ai su, tu as su, il a su, elle a su, nous avons su, little liaison here, Vous avez su, same thing here, ils ont su, little liaison between the two, elles ont su, okay? And now, let's see, connaître at the present form. Je connais, tu connais, il connaît, elle connaît, nous connaissons, vous connaissez, ils connaissent, elles connaissent. All right. Same thing as we had for uh, savoir, if you look carefully here, connaît, A-I-S, connaît, A-I-S, and then connaît, A-I-T. So don't forget this circumflex, even if you don't pronounce it well, you should write it. Um, well, you pronounce these three forms the same way. Okay. Connaît, connaît, and then connaît. All right. Let's see how it goes for the passé composé form. J'ai connu. Tu as connu, il a connu, elle a connu, sorry, nous avons connu, vous avez connu, ils ont connu, elles ont connu. Okay, so same rule, first, avoir at the present form, then participe passé form of connaître, it's connu. All right, so it will go everywhere for each person here. Okay, j'ai connu, tu as connu, il a connu, elle a connu. Nous avons connu, vous avez connu, ils ont connu, elles ont connu. Okay? And now for the future form, uh, as it was introduced, introduced in the previous lesson, unit uh, 6. So, savoir the future form, and it goes like, je saurai, tu sauras, il saura, elle saura, nous saurons, vous saurez, ils sauront, elles sauront. And then for connaître at the future form je connaîtrai 
tu connaîtras, il connaîtra, elle connaîtra, nous connaîtrons, vous connaîtrez, ils connaîtront, elles connaîtront. All right. So, let's see a few examples now. So the first one, remember, savoir, so you construct it with a verb or a sentence. Okay, in that case I just put a verb. Je sais chanter. Okay, so remember, savoir, to know, chanter, to sing. Je sais chanter. All right, so second verb here, chanter. Well, the rule in French is that if you've got a structure like that with two verbs, the second verb should be all the time at the infinitive. Okay, je sais chanter, like that. All right, if you put the same sentence at the passé composé, as we, we saw previously, the, the passé composé form of savoir, it goes like, j'ai su chanter. All right, and then the future form, je saurai chanter. Okay, so it's quite easy. Hein? Je sais chanter, j'ai su chanter, je saurai chanter. That's it. Let's see, connaître now. Je connais cette personne. Okay, so connaître, to know, okay. <laughs> and then, cette personne, personne is person, and it's uh, feminine, so if you want to put this, this, you should put it at the feminine, so it's this person, cette personne. Je connais cette personne. Passé composé, j'ai connu cette personne. And then the future form, je connaîtrai cette personne. All right? So it's not that difficult, okay? But, of course, there is one exception. And the exception is savoir plus a noun. Okay? So you will use this structure only if you want to introduce this concept that we call in French par cœur, so by heart. Let's see one example. Je sais ma leçon. So in that case, savoir to know, ma leçon, my lesson. Okay, so in that sentence, when you use je sais ma leçon, you really want to say that you know your lesson by heart. Okay? That's the reason why we use savoir in that case. Okay? Same thing for the second example. Je sais mon texte, my text, or then my lines if you want. Je sais mon texte. Okay? So it's the same. You want to introduce this idea that you know your text or your lines by heart. Okay? And that's the only exception when we will use savoir plus a noun. Alright?